Next stop on the trip was Yellowstone National Park. In Yellowstone, I decided to whip out the lavalier mics, get some live interviews with the siblings, see what they have to say about the situation, see what they think is going on. Up first, we have Alice Rachel Bronson. Allie, what do you got to say about the trip? It's deeper here than everywhere else. That means one time there was a really large explosion <laughs> that created this. And if you actually see this, this is the Earth's crust is so thin, this is coming up from the center of the Earth. What? Yeah. The very middle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my explanation of that. You tell me you got it. insane. I told you my brain wasn't working today. <laughs> Here, follow me. Do you smell that? That's sulfur. <laughs> I want to touch it so bad. Rob, my trip so far is going fantastic. Uh, a lot of good views, getting active, lots of walking. Thanks. So we're gonna do this again with some more enthusiasm. Oh my gosh, we're on a road trip, guys! How fun is that? <laughs> you suck. ASMR. <laughs> so currently, we're on our way to Old Faithful. It's probably, you know, the quintessential thing of Yellowstone. Wouldn't you say, Mom? Old Faithful? Oh, yeah. Just the iconic spot. It's the iconic spot. Overrated. One of the highlights of the trip for me personally was going to the Old Faithful Inn. It's the largest log structure on the entire planet. It was born in 1912 or so. I don't know, man. Figure it out. Roosevelt or something. Come on now. Excited to see that. Uh, hoping it doesn't blow up and we don't all die. Um, but you know, other than that, I think that would be the coolest way to go out and die. So, not too worried about it. My time can come whenever. I think I'm I'm ready to go. So, uh, but definitely, definitely excited about the rest of the trip. We're just here in the the first half of it. Uh, really upset that I couldn't get into the uh, the, the blue the springs. A lot of red tape here. I'm not liking. You can't get up the stairs. You can't get in the water. Either way, we'll check in uh, we'll check in in the second half of this trip. We'll talk to you guys later. We missed a very good segment because we've been recording and walking like this for about 30 minutes. We just realized David L. Bronson is not here to record. Once again, <laughs> twice the fool, three times you're out, fool me once, the shame is once again upon me. In the Yellowstone National Park, you can see many things that you cannot see anywhere else, like grass, and rocks, <laughs> small birds, things you will never see in another state, small trees, big trees, tourists wearing jackets, hiking pants. These are the things we visit Yellowstone for, ladies and gentlemen. David Hale, <laughs> later on I will try not to yell at you for shaking the camera too much and not having a steady hand. It's definitely gonna happen. I will eat you alive in post. <laughs> <laughs> From me to you, I don't mean it. I will be flustered in the moment. I will say nasty things. But just know you're my brother and I love you. <laughs> and we're good. And from there, a lovely family continued on, happy as ever, to just be at Old Faithful and take in the moment. Well, <clears throat> actually, we, I might cut this later. I, we, uh, mm, 
we don't we don't talk about this no more. Any, anyways, we go back to the old faithful inn and where dreams come true and life in. And I, I, you know, I have no idea where I was going with this. We, I'm just going to keep doing the voice for now until it gets annoying to me. Anyways, we have the geyser here. Phenomenal. We have the geyser from the viewpoint of my father's phone. Classic father footage. We'll see that later. Not used here. And from there, the family moves on to a quiet creekside. They decided to lounge, relax, and get in touch with themselves. Would you look at that? Gorgeous. Right there, that's what I'm looking at. That's what we want. That's what we need. There's nothing derivative about this. Hmm. Back to me. Personally to me on this trip, the geysers were my favorite thing by far. There's so many things that lends itself to other parts of America and other places on the planet, but these are... It, it really makes you feel like you're somewhere else. You're on a distant alien world. You know, there's destruction, there's mystery, no, you don't know what could be over there. No. No, Dave, Dave. No. No, Dave, it's too soon. Dave, what the- No! Whoa! Whoa! He's somebody! I can't- Someone cut me off. All right, I'm back. But one of the coolest things I was able to do this trip is the family went to bed, might have had a few drinky poos, but I was able to sneak out around midnight right when Old Faithful was going off in the dark, moon bathing all the steam, and it's pale blue moonlight, and it was, I mean, look at it. It's haunting, it's cool, it's immaculate. I may have gotten inspired by the hauntingness of Old Faithful at night. I don't know, yada yada. There's this part of the hotel, upper deck, it's been closed to the public for 50 years or something like that, 70 years. And I don't know, just if you tell the government, I will find you. Everybody shut up. Keep your mouths shut. All right, good. I mean that. I will find you. Coldplay. Think about it. Day two, the family was still in full form, exploring the beauties of Yellowstone National Park. And my sister looked longingly out of the plains, thinking of the beauty of a land once lost, captured in time. Maybe it was a buffalo. Who can say? Not me. To be honest, I see nothing wrong with this either. Mm, it's delicious. And now a word. From David Hale Bronson. I really care too much about the buffalo, if I'm gonna be honest with you. They're pretty much just fairy cows. And so I've seen a lot of cows, I've seen a lot of buffalo. I wanna see a big old swamp donkey, a big old moose, walking like this. We 
now move on to the animal portion of the Yellowstone National Park trip 2024. The last hike we did in Yellowstone National Park was among, not even among, it was the most grueling hike we did. At several point during that hike, many members of us wanted to turn around, not get to the top, but it's one of the reasons I really like our family, because we have that drive to dig deep. Wait, wait a minute. What is that? What? No way. <laughs> Come. Come on. Anyways, if you look closely, you can see a U.S. fighter jet flying over the Yellowstone National Park. I can't think of anything more America. Anyways, folks, that's the end of Chapter 2, and we'll see you in Chapter 3. Stay tuned.